How dare they? Anyway. How dare they have fun? So speaking about how dare they, <laughs> CD Projekt Red <laughs> announced a shit ton of new games. And so when we first started this show, I'm talking like six six weeks in? Six years ago. Six weeks in? Seven weeks in? I don't know. One of our early episodes, we covered Cyberpunk because it just came out. Um, I didn't go back and rewatch it because I still feel the same way, which is I played that game for 30 hours and I can't believe that. Some people were like, even past the bugs, it's the most immersive. And it isn't. It isn't. It's missing things that The Witcher 3 had. It's missing mechanics that I would expect every modern day RPG to have. You know what I'm saying? And now I've heard that they've actually added those things. And the game's actually really good. And it's like peaked at over like a million u- like uh, daily active users on Steam again. So people oh, are like, like currently like within the last three weeks. No shit. And when that show dropped too. Yeah, that did a big. Pe- yeah. So I do want to watch that. So now Cyberpunk's in everyone's good graces again. Oh yeah. So uh, well, Cyberpunk uh, felt like it's time to announce some new games, and boy, did they drop a shit ton on us. They're going through their uh, No Man's Sky phase. That's yeah. what I was thinking, Nick. Well, yeah. okay, I hold this uh, tinfoil hat. Okay. I think in 2012, when they showed off the trailer, the original trailer for Cyberpunk, I don't think that was anything more than a proof of concept that somebody showed their manager at a meeting was like, I want to make this game. Probably. And they were like, oh, well, well, we got nothing for E3, so uh, we're taking it. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you mind? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's kind of like, that's truly, like, I really think that's what happened. Yeah. And then they made a game around that because they said that game was in development for eight years when development actually started in 2016 and really didn't get going until The Witcher 3 was out the door. Right. And The Witcher yeah. 3 was still broken when it came out. Development means they got a big sticky note and they put it on a wall <laughs> and they <laughs> wrote Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to this. Um. So, yeah, that game was in development for, like, three years, and then it came out. That game was mm-hmm. super undercooked, but now it's actually apparently good. So, anyway, CD Projekt Red's feeling good. Mm-hmm. They announced new games. Number one, an entire new Witcher trilogy. We already knew we were getting Witcher 4. They said it wasn't going to focus on Geralt, though. Um, they said now, though, they have confirmed that it's all three new Witcher games. They're all in pre-production but they are going to be released over a six year period. Yeah. So at once the first one comes out every two years, we'll get a new one, two to three years. I think it's like Witcher four, three years, Witcher five, three years, and then Witcher six. What? Isn't that what they said? That it was like three games in a six year window. Yeah. As in at, like when the first one comes out uh-huh. by oh. like in, in three years, then the fifth one will come out. And then in three years, after oh, that, okay, the sixth makes will sense. come out. Yeah. I thought it would be like you get one, then two years, you get the second one. And then, Oh, I guess that math yeah. makes sense. No, I, I think I think they're really game. yeah. I think they're really like aspirationally giving themselves as much breath as they can, between yeah. three years between them. But I mean, they're going to be all be built on. I'm assuming like the same engine, probably. So then we have the Witcher series, which yeah. is just uh, a, a working title right now. Um, it's about serious black separate. <laughs> it's separate from the original trilogy. And it's still in pre-pro, but apparently this is the multiplayer one. Yeah. This is the MMO. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely looking forward to this game. I, I would love to play a fucking Witcher MMO. That would be cool. As long as it doesn't end up being like a shitty MMO like the Amazon New World one. You just got to do as good as RuneScape. You know what I mean? That's Buddy, like, that is a high <laughs> fucking bar. Like, like that game I still can't play because I will put in like 40 hours yeah. a week. <laughs> um. So then we have the Witcher... Was it Canis Majoris? And that's a separate single player story driven game that's coming out years from now. Years and years and years from now. Yeah. Um, then there's the Witcher 3 Next Trend, which is just ports of the Witcher 3 for Series X and PS5. Also, if you own it on PC and it is in your library, they will just give you the new version for free. Will Anyone? they take away the old version? <laughs> well, yeah, but why would you want the old version? Because I bought it. Because <laughs> I own it. But they're giving you the new one for free. No, <laughs> don't take it from me. Um, and apparently these are due out by the end of the year. Yeah, and they've been working at these for a while. They thought they would do what like Nintendo does for that, where it was like, and this is available today. Like, oh yeah, yeah, but no, 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 now no shadow it. drops. New. Then there's the Cyberpunk expansion known as the Phantom Library, right? Which we got news about earlier. So apparently that is. Um, oh, this was another one they thought they were going to shadow drop. But um, it's closer to dropping, but they say like a loose 2023. It's 
closer right. than you think, but it's just the, it's just DLC for Cyberpunk. And then this was what surprised me, but I guess they paid for the license. So <laughs> Cyberpunk Orion, which is just the working title, right, right now, because because Cyberpunk is actually Cyberpunk twenty twenty seventy seven. Where this one, I guess, Orion would be like the next no, this subtitle. No, this is, yeah, 2077 Orion, I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so then this one is a full-on sequel to Cyberpunk. And it's like super early stages. Um, and they want to basically prove the power of the Cyberpunk universe and all that it can deliver. And the only thing I can say is just, I don't want to see this for another decade. Yeah, this is going to be, it said that half Start of the... Start now and go gold in twenty. 20- 29 and tell me when like, it's releasing tell four me months when before it's, yeah, it's coming out yeah, like, don't drop trailers for six years which they goddamn might yeah well they got to build up the hype and then okay so here's some other stuff too project hadar which uh or is a project th- hater hater project hater is a third haters. is a third ip quote distinct from the witcher and cyberpunk it's still in the conceptual fate uh in phase implying pre pre production with only a small strike team currently working on it. So I wouldn't expect anything from this. And then get this, the CEO is leaving. Oh, they threw no. this oh, in at the no. end. Yeah. yeah, this is like As a, a nice little they're like, look at all the cool things happening. And by the way, we're kicking this fucker out. By the way, our leadership's out. Yeah. Um, he's a he's a co founder as well. He said he's going to do some new shit though. A new, yeah, quote unquote new personal chapter is what he called it, which is just fine. You have a bunch of money. Um but he's going to be a chairman of the supervisory board until at least, or no, by the end of 2022. But, yeah. you know, it'll... It'll all work itself out. Yeah, he's... A, Life a, finds a way. A, a, allegedly still going to be, like, active and now, are part you, of shit and whatnot, yeah. but just not in the CEO role. Yeah. Um. Any of this excite you? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think I might play Cyberpunk when the Phantom Liberty drops, because I like to play, like... Phantom Library. Phantom... No, Liberty. What? Yeah. Am I an idiot? <laughs> the Phantom Library. It's, it's a ghostful oh library. Oh, my God. I've been saying li- I'm an idiot. I think you've been saying Liberty. But <laughs> no, he said Library. <laughs> yeah, it's Phantom now, Liberty. <laughs> now I don't know what's going on. Are it's you just, excited for the Phantom Library? I thought it was Halloween DLC. <laughs> That's no. why you thought they were going to drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've embarrassed shit. myself enough. Let's no, keep you're going. fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably play it when they drop it because I like to... I always fuck up and do this. I'll get a game and then I'll like play it and I'll beat it. Like it'll be like a fallout type game. And then I'll never go back and play the DLC because I'm like, I put too much effort and like, I was like, I'm, yeah. I, I'm done yeah. with that. And I never want to play the DLC. They also never do that shit where it's like, it can't just like, there's a difference between like expansion and DLC in the sense where like DLC is always like some separate shit. Like the DLC for doom that I'm playing right now is like you go into a different menu to get to it. It's not right. just a part of the game. Where I think, like, in Assassin's Creed, I bought, like, the expansion and, like, a whole new section of the map opened up. That right. There's, like, there's like before. a new character you can talk to. Yeah. And then it's, like, oh, by talking to them, then it, like, generates Not that, even that entire I'm section. I'm talking, like, a whole population showed up on one side oh, of the map shit. Okay. for Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like, Hello? When I tell you it was an expansion, like, literally, it was as yeah. if the Italian Renaissance took place. Like, it was <laughs> wild. How long was I gone? <laughs> what year, what is, year it? is it? So, um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably play the, cause I'm sure we can pick up, um, cyberpunk probably, or maybe not now, but I'm sure it was kind of cheap on like, you know, G2A or something like that. It's probably like, Let's see. that's probably getting it's with its popularity again. It might be a little bit back up there, but I'll pick it up and I'll pick up phantom Liberty library. <laughs> um, fucking stop it right now. Which you, wait, which is it actually? It is Liberty. Liberty. Okay. It's $52 on oh, for oh. PC right now, but oh, if you we'll want see. it on sex box, it's yeah well i don't have a sex oh it's 34 dollars at walmart for pc pass, mike it's not on game pass is it it's not no yeah oh, it yeah. is not oh, that'll be good i haven't played any of the witcher games i like watching witcher gameplay um which you know whatever but uh yeah another trilogy is more stuff to watch it's got me six more years of watching shit so i don't like having sex i like, I like watching. watching people <laughs> <laughs> Almost always dressed as Superman. <laughs> so, what about you, Nick? Anything that any of this excites you? Your whistle? No, no I like you, to have you sex. Came... I don't like to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, I'm not really interested in. Uh, I'm not really interested in any of this. Uh, I'm maybe one day I'll get around to Cyberpunk. You just guys, you guys trashed it so hard that I was like, yeah, I guess I'll never play that. Jer liked it. 
Yeah, Jer also true. had a 3090 and a really nice processor, so his so, computer could run it. It's like, oh, cool, yeah. Whereas on should. my 1080, it was like, what is 60 <laughs> FPS? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny would play, and his game would just turn Crash. into clay people yeah. and then turn off his PlayStation. <laughs> like his PlayStation like would kill itself. Yeah. yeah. 